I'm Gary Robinson. I'm a guest services representative, and this is my second year. I'm Gary. Good evening. Thanks for coming up. I'm right here. Of course. Have fun. I started playing Little League when I was really young and then really played baseball all the way uh, through high school. Came down to San Diego to go to San Diego State and then late 70s is really when I became a Padre fan and have been ever since. As a fan and season ticket holder for many years, Gary saw how much the Padre staff seemed to enjoy their jobs. So, two years ago, following retirement from a career in medical device sales, Gary made a call to the Padres. I described kind of what I was thinking. They said, oh yeah, that's a guest service representative. I said, how do I become one of those? So they said, we post the position every January on our website, uh, go on the website, put in your resume, apply, and they'll set up an interview. And I was lucky enough to be selected to join the group. Gary was living in Park City, Utah at the time and had to fly into San Diego every homestand of the 2018 season. Once, you know, my other team members, my colleagues, heard about this, yeah, they kidded me a lot. First they didn't believe me, but then they thought, what, are you crazy? But it was, um, you know, I didn't know if I'd love it, but I did. I mean, I knew the first home stand. After I worked the first couple of games, I went, oh, this is great. I'm going to love this. So I really did that for the first year, and then I moved back to San Diego this last March, just in time for this season. Gary's commute is a little easier now that he lives a short five-minute walk from Petco Park, and his co-workers can't help but tease him about the significant decrease in travel time. They asked me about the commute, you know, because they knew what I did last year. I go, yeah, you know, it was pretty, uh, pretty difficult this morning. A guy was walking a little bit slow in front of me, so I had to kind of pass him to get in. But, and then they really kid me when the game's over, because you know, the games we're not out of there until 10:30, quarter to 11, whatever. But it's five minutes for me, and they all kid me, go, oh, gee, you're so lucky. So anyway, much different this year, but sorry, I can't complain. The responsibilities of a guest service representative include directing guests to their seats and providing recommendations on what Petco Park has to offer. But for Gary, it's much more about the relationships forged with the fans. We talk about Padres or what's going on or teams we don't like too much. Am I in San Diego or Los Angeles? I, oh, that, well, you sh if yesterday you thought you were in Boston. <laughs> you really get to know the people. and it's, I was always amazed that the number of people that have worked as guest service representatives for the Padres for 20, 25, 30 years and more. I mean, they started at Qualcomm, but they've been here for so long. And the relationships that they have with season ticket holders that have had, that used to be even at Qualcomm, they, the relationship they have is phenomenal. It's just, it's a little, it's like a little family. It really is. That, they're like extended family in that sense with these guest service representatives and the relationships they have. The concept of family is at the core of Gary's interaction with fans, especially the younger generation. We are lucky that we've got little things we can give them. And we've got little, you know, packs of Padre cards, that kind of, to give them them. And see how excited they get about that. So that's what's fun, or how we can get them to interact or potentially interact with a player. That's kind of the ultimate for them. Come here, stand right there. Yeah, just so he can see you. And then when he comes back, they're going to come in pretty soon. When he comes this way, see if he'll come. When we can accommodate something like that, it's fun to watch that interaction and see how that happens and see how excited the fans get. There you go. Perfect. It's that connection they get with the player, with the team, with the, the whole atmosphere. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes it works out. That's great. Good. Have fun, buddy. It took some serious dedication and a whole lot of faith to move his life out to San Diego. But Gary's future was set as he boarded the plane back to Utah after that very first homestead. It just felt so right. And it's just only grown ever since I've been here. It's only my second year, but I, I really see me working here kind of <laughs> as long as I possibly can. It's that much fun and I enjoy it that much. So I am so happy that I made the decision and made the commute and you know, made the commitment that uh, to do this because it's wonderful.